Don't make it horny, baby. Hello, governor. I'm the Kingsman too. This is real talk. Hello, welcome to Real Talk, and today we're going to be talking about Kingsman, the Secret Service. Pull the hook on your left. Oh yes, very nice. What does this do? Electrocute you. Don't be ridiculous. It's a hand grenade. Shut up. The film follows a young boy, Exy, as he tries to go up the ranks of becoming a Kingsman like his father. The film stars not a lot of notable uh, British actors, including uh, Colin Firth, uh, Mark Strong, Mike uh, Cocaine, Mike Cocaine, and um, I feel like I'm in, oh, and Samuel Jackson. Yeah, he's not British, but he's yeah, you, can't, you can't forget him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, I'll wrap it back. I'm gonna say this is the best movie of 2015 so far. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it's February, so you know it's not so, saying much, but it's by far the best movie out right now. So I mean, see yeah. No, this was um, it was directed by Matthew Vaughn, who I'm a big fan of. Yeah. Uh, love, he did. Uh, I love Stardust from him, and then yeah. uh, he did my favorite uh, X Men movie, X Men First Class. And Kick Ass. And kick Ass. This yeah. has a lot of Kick Ass flavor to it mm -hmm. uh, as well. Oh yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. uh, what did you like? Well, I, I thought it was just great all together. Like I said, it, it feels like Kick-Ass with Super Spies. Mm -hmm. And I really liked the first Kick-Ass. Um, the other thing I liked about it was, even though it's Kick-Ass-esque, mm -hmm. there's not <laughs> the amount of gore, like blood splattering everywhere. Yeah, yeah. A person would get like shot and you'd just see like, a red hole there. And I was okay with that. Like, that made me there also, is, uh, I mean, there is gore, but it's very cartoony. Like, yeah. um, someone got split in half in the movie. Yeah, like a cartoon. Like, when they get split in half, it's not like also you see organs and blood pouring out. Yeah, oh, well, no, like, it's just that's just not what the movie is. The movie is, is you know, the style of the movie. Uh, the action and like you know, the plot is well, yeah. very cartoony, but um, it but that's what makes it so entertaining and really fun well, because yeah. it, it's a it's both something to be taken kind of seriously, but it's also like a, just a big fun satire on the, all the spy movies you know and love, especially the James Bond uh, mm -hmm. spy movies. Well, there's a lot of homages to James Bond. Oh yeah, totally. Really cool. mm -hmm. What I really like was done well was uh, action. The action is really Yeah, cool. one of the best action sequences I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, totally. recent, yeah your recent memory. This was for sure. The, um, the way the camera, like, uh, moves with it. It's very fluid and oh, yeah, some might say it's shaking cam. Shaking cam, it's not. It's just uh, it, it's just a fast moving camera. Like oh yeah, so the choreography movie. for some of these fights. It's like your over the shoulder of yeah. uh, one of the spies. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Even um, in Colin Firth, like I, I heard he was like really uh, trying to beef up. He was really training hard for this role. So and it, it really shows. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, there's some really nice. intense, uh, really. Uh, horrific fight scenes, and it's awesome. Very horrific. <laughs> so let's move on uh, to the characters. Uh, uh, so what did you think of the lead guy, Taron Egerton? Yeah, Taron Egerton, I think. Oh, yeah, no, he, he's great. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, no, I, I, I liked all uh, of our of the castmates mm -hmm. yeah. in uh, Kingsman, right? The yeah, castmates. The cast. Yeah. Uh, he, was, God, Mike, he was a. Um, that's, that's Australian. Yeah, his role is very challenging because he kind of plays like the street punk. Yeah. You know, who's like kind of a, uh, like a little social deviant. Or whatever. Yeah, kind of a little punk. Yeah. That, but now has an arc, you know, in the movie. But he never comes across as whiny or unlikable. Unlikable. He's very, very. Yeah, um, and he has a reason for being kind of a punk on the street. Yeah, you know, exactly. unfortunately, you know. He, yeah, he's. Um, yeah, we, we won't get into much of that. Before. Right, spoiler. yeah, we don't want to spoil too much. But it was a, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, he, he was good. Um, Colin Firth, awesome. Yeah. He was great. You know, he, he's in movies like King's Speech, where he's very yeah. proper. He's in Mamma Mia, where he's like a, uh, just, a, I don't know, he's such a goof, some idiot. Yeah. yeah, but now in this movie, he's like, he is a bad he ass. Bad ass. Yep. He is bad ass. Uh, he is like, you know, he's kicking ass and taking names. Um, like, you actually, but it, what's so cool about his character is that he looks like a regular English guy. 
like oh, yeah. and it, it works so well because like I'm really tired of like the old like Daniel Craig. I love him as Bond, but like you can tell this guy looks like he's a fighter. You know? Yeah, like he looks like oh he's been in fights. But you know, Colin well, Firth looks like your uh, his grand class. Ass. Yeah. His class is just like yeah. I like, will get you in the shin if I have to. There's this quote. Just in, like, yeah, there's a quote he says about nobility that really like like I was looking at people like whoa that's it's pretty deep and it's really cool you get like that awesome like profound sense like about nobility within this giant action. Oh yeah, totally. So, yeah, yeah. Samuel Jackson. <laughs> what a great villain. Too. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, hilarious. Yeah. yeah. He has a like on the movie has like a some sort of lisp. Yeah. And um, kind of sort of similar to like something out of like Mike Tyson or something. It's hilarious. <laughs> it was a Mike Tyson question. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, it was, it was hilarious. Yeah, he, um, was, he was funny, um, but also very threatening as yeah. well. well. Not to spoil also, much, but you know, he he, also, he's um, not just a goofy villain. You know, he does stuff in this movie that you know that's very threatening, and you know, there's consequences in, yeah. in these movies. He says, um, and you said like he's yeah. a goofy villain. Um, yeah, he. So I, I could see someone saying, well, he's kind of cartoony, but like, and I agree, he is cartoony, and I think that's the point. He's supposed to be one of those classic Bond villains. Oh yeah, over the top, you know. And he's yeah. always wearing these club outfits. It, it, it's really great. Um, oh man, I love this. You know, if you wanted to sell this movie, I would say it's a, uh, it, it is like a grown up version of that Frankie Muniz movie, uh, Cody, Secret Agent Cody Banks. It's yes, a grown up Secret Agent Cody Banks. The classic movie. Classic. Yeah. Um, so, the one character that wasn't really fleshed out, but she didn't need to be. Oh, the yeah. lady with the sword for legs. Oh, uh, Gazelle. Yeah, she was. She was awesome though. Oh, I mean, as like a yeah. side minor villain that like you know is more the muscle. Yeah. Um, while uh, Samuel Jackson is more the brains. Mark Strong stole this movie for me. He usually plays like a really like just like really dark villain, or whatever. This guy can act. And he finally acts more than a uh, like just a, a brooding villain, you know. He's actually uh, like he's actually a fleshed out character, and I'm finally glad this is the movie he gets to uh, do it, and he does a terrific performance. So I know, I'm really looking forward to the next thing Mark Strong does. The one thing when, after we saw the movie, which we saw with Riley as well, mm -hmm. he, he oh. started, his way of explaining is every every time someone asks him what do you think of that movie, he goes. Every it, it had every actor in it that will never be in a James Bond movie, mm -hmm. and I don't know if he's trying to say it's good or bad. Who knows what Riley says? <laughs> but well, this um, is the Riley anyway. If you guys don't, <laughs> the smartest member of the group. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably should listen. No one's listening to him. Um, uh, but um, I don't know. I, I, I really think this was a great, terrific cast. Another thing he also said was that like. Everything after James Bond was a parody of James Bond. Yeah, I don't fully agree. Okay, yeah, this is another question for you guys. After seeing the movie, do you think um, it's a parody or an homage? Uh, honestly, like, um, for me, it's an homage. It's, I, I think we all yeah. agree it's an homage. It's not like an Austin Powers movie where it's like really like a, a spoof no, parody movie, like, you know, yeah. Because this is its own thing. It has its yeah. own. It yeah. has its own universe. Yeah. It has, it yeah. has, it has, its, own it has its own. It has stakes. Austin awesome Powers was just pretty much. It's just fun, you know, a goofy, a goofy, goofy movie. movie. I, I, well, I, not a goofy movie. I thought of it was trying <laughs> to uh, show a new kind of spy. Mm -hmm. Like Colin Firth would be like, even though he looks more normal, he's like the James Bond, and then Eggsy is, is like the Jason the Bourne. Bourne. Is the Jason Bourne? Yeah. I guess yeah. He's yeah. Like a new it's, a, of spy. it's a mixture of the two, and that's yeah. really cool. When I went into this movie, I did not know it was R. I thought it was like PG thirteen. Oh, and really? There's a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, it's. Well, there's you can definitely of, see. It. It's, yeah. it's art. It's totally oh, art. There, there's a lot of thought in here. There's a lot of violence. And like, but, but, like, it was so cartoony throughout. I thought, oh, I mean, like, it has to be PG 13. Like, yeah. no, no, you, no, you can't. And by the way, in movies, you can't say the F word more than two times yeah. and still be PG 13. You have, have to be art. I am so glad this movie, though, did well because I'm tired of seeing, like, these action movies that are just so, like, Dark. Yeah, I'm just glad that uh, you know a movie that isn't a, a remake or a sequel is you know actually uh, pretty successful. I think. Uh, and I really thought this was going to be swarmed or swamped by uh, like uh, Fifty Shades Grey. Like no one's going to see this movie. I'm glad, and even though that uh, Fifty Shades made was number one, yeah, in box office. Yeah, I'm, I'm still glad that uh, yeah. this did yeah. well, and I'm really looking forward to seeing.
Yeah, I hope that it actually turns into a franchise, hopefully. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But it'd be kind of cool if we actually see more of these movies. I, I walk out of the theater like, with a sense of like, like really fun and like I can punch through a wall. I try. But... No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, moving on. Stone wall. Hey, um, so, all in all, what do you want to rate this movie? I want to rate it a 9 out of 10. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to push, I'm going to say 9 out of 10 as well. Huh? What's your rating? My rating? For the, well, I give you an 8 and I give you a 7. Oh, for the movie. Um, I give the movie a solid 9 out of 10. I really had fun with this guy. So we all give it a 9 out of 10. So it's a 90%. It's a 90%. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Kingsman. Thank you, cast and crew, for making such an awesome movie in February. Yeah. <laughs> so much fucking death. So, there's so much fucking death. I think it's a perfect way to end <laughs> our review of the Kingsman. All right. Hey. Um, thank so, you. what do you guys think? Do you like, uh, um, real, uh, do you like Kingsman? Do you like Real Talk? Also, do you like, do you like, do you like the show? Do you find Nick funny? Uh, <laughs> probably not. But, <laughs> Uh, let us know in the comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And real talk. Don't do a review when there's a bomb under your friend's chair. What about him? What makes him so special? Put it back.